people message me almost every day asking me about being a bunny owner. And I'll be honest, when I first got Bun Bun, I had no idea how to be a bunny owner. I actually got Bun Bun from Ryden's dad. So his dad had, had bunnies and their bunnies had babies. Bun Bun was one of the babies. So with that being said, Ryden has been holding Bun Bun since the day she was born. So had his sister, so she's very, very people friendly which is good. You want, if you're going to have a bunny as a pet, you want them to be very people friendly. Also, um, and a lot of times people will get bunnies from pet stores and they're like terrified of people. So just make sure that your bunny has been handled a lot. Also, Bun Bun is litter box trained. And actually litter box training her was so easy. She was easier to litter train than my cat within two days, completely litter trained. Every once in a while, she'll, you know, have an accident here and there, but for the most part, she, rabbits are very territorial. So they want to go where their scent is. So if they've gone to the bathroom, how you start training them is you get a litter box and actually don't even waste your money on like an actual litter box. What I purchased was a storage container that's like tall enough for her to easily jump in and big enough for her to turn around and do her business in. I get cat litter, but the cat litter that I get is actually paper pellets. You want to get that kind of litter versus regular cat litter because if she eats any of the litter, she's going to be okay because it's just paper versus regular cat litter. You wouldn't want your bunny eating that. So I get paper pellets and then I don't even have a real litter box. It's just a storage container that is big enough for her to jump in. I put a puppy pad down at the bottom and then fill it with litter. I change it every couple of days. Another thing, Bun Bun is amazing. She's so calm, like look at her, she just chills. She's just the most amazing pet I've ever had. Sorry, Libra, you're amazing too. But <laughs> she's so sweet and mellow and she loves to be held and she loves to be cuddled. She loves to eat, she's literally my spirit animal. Um, but I will say, if I've had so many people who say, oh, I wanna get a bunny, I wanna get a bunny. I work from home except for one day of, of the week. So every day I am holding her and giving her attention and playing with her. She has, I spend so much time giving this bunny love and attention at least like two to three hours a day, but usually it's much more than that. So if you are, I will say, if you are someone who's gone working all the time and you're gonna put your bunny in a cage all day long, bunnies can get aggressive and destructive if they're like angry about something. And Bun Bun runs around the house like the dog and the cat do all day long when I'm home. She goes in her cage at night just because I don't want her chewing on cords and getting electrocuted or um, getting into trouble, which she does do. She's so sweet, but she eats charger cords. She's eaten all kinds of computer cords. Um, so I've had to bunny proof my house and make sure that it, she's not going to do those things. And I also still have to like keep an eye when she's out running around. So if I leave, I'm not going to just leave her at home running around. I put her in her cage. Her cage is really big. It's like the biggest dog crate that you can get. Pretty much. <laughs> got Bun Bun stuff up here. And I got her a new cage because the other one didn't have a top and she'd escape it. Look what I got. I got your treat. You're so cute, Bun Bun. Um, and so she has a litter box in there, her food, her water, all of that. But for the most part, she runs around the house all day long like the dog and the cat. It's so sweet to see her like jump up on the couch and just flop down and lay down. It's just so sweet. Isn't it fun? Um, but if you're someone who's gone to work all the time and you don't have that kind of time to give attention to your bunny, they aren't going to be as amazing as Bun Bun. I'm, they might be, but more than likely they're going to have aggressive behaviors and get destructive. And 
I only suggest an indoor rabbit if you're going to give them attention and love. Otherwise, a lot of people have rabbits outdoors and that's great. That's, you know, rabbits are amazing. However, if you want an indoor bunny and you expect it to be like Bun Bun, you got to make sure you're giving attention and love. When she doesn't get attention and love, like there have been times when I've been gone all day and she's locked up in her cage all day and all night and I come home and she's like aggressive and destructive and she's mad. She's dumping her foot around and rabbits are very, very sensitive um, creatures. They get upset if they're not getting the things that they need and they need love, lots of love and attention. Right, bun bun. I mean, seriously, she is, it doesn't get any cuter. No, it doesn't get any cuter. So as far as caring for her, um, she has pellets that she eats from like the um, farm store. She has hay. Um, every night I fill up her cup with some pellets and some fresh hay. And then um, I also give her like tons of greens. So every morning I give her a salad of greens. It's mixed like kale and spinach and just a variety of different greens. You don't have to do this, but I own a meal prep company. So I have an abundance of vegetables that like my cilantro ends and you know, leftover spinach that I would end up probably, it would probably go bad before I could eat it. So it works out perfect because I don't ever throw any of that stuff away now. I give it to Bun Bun. However, there are certain things that bunnies cannot eat. So you need to be cautious of what you're feeding your rabbit. You can't just give them everything because certain things they cannot eat. Her favorite food in the entire world is bananas. She loves bananas. It's the sweetest, cutest thing. Like I, she loves them. So Um, so you can, I give her things like bananas and grapes and things like that with a lot of sugar. I only give to her occasionally because um, clearly she's very well fed, if you can't tell. Um, I would love to sit and give her bananas all day because she's so cute when she eats them, but that's a lot of sugar and she doesn't need that. She needs mostly hay is what she eats, um, some of her pellets just to make sure she's getting all those nutrients and things. And then I give her a salad of random whatever I have laying around for greens. Um, and then every once in a while, I give her just a tiny little bit of an apple or a tiny little bit of banana or some sort of treat. And she loves it. Her dog's trained. She runs around the house like the dog or the cat. She has accidents occasionally, but very rarely. For the most part, rabbits are very particular about where they go to the bathroom. And she is much easier to litter train than my cat was. And my dog, Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, love him to death, but he still can't figure out where he's supposed to go to the bathroom. There's just something about little dogs. He has this um, wireless collar on because he was going over to our neighbors and pooping on their deck every single day. And they weren't very happy about that. So we got this wireless collar. He knows he's supposed to go to the bathroom outside, but he also thinks that it's perfectly okay to poop on the floor by the door and yeah. So he still hasn't figured it out, but um, he's cute, so it's okay. Um, the dog and the cat, they get along great. The cat wants to attack Bun Bun, and I will say our cat is a hunter and has killed rabbits in our yard, just like Bun Bun. Whiskers, whiskers! Whiskers. But when you introduce your pets to another pet, it's different and they just know that they can't attack it. I mean, it was a gradual process for us. Bun Bun almost had been attacked by Whiskers multiple times because Whiskers is still not really thrilled about Bun Bun, but now they've gotten used to each other and they are fine. So that's basically the basics of taking care of a bunny. Um, litter box, I change it every two to three days. So. You have to be willing to change it and clean it. Rabbits are actually very clean animals. They like a clean space. They don't stink. When I, Ryan asked me if he could get a bunny. And when I think of a bunny, I think of like hamster and ferret and like stinky animal. And I was like, absolutely not. 
And then he FaceTimed me and showed me this cute little face. And of course I said yes. Um, and then I fell in love with Bun Bun and I've been <laughs> obsessed ever since. Um, Bun Bun has now become pretty much my bunny. Bryden loves Bun Bun, but I really love Bun Bun. Um, but anyways, I pictured this stinky, dirty animal and rabbits are very clean. She cleans and groups herself all the time. She does not stink at all. The only time she stinks is if I'm not cleaning her cage, I have to clean the cage in the litter box like every two days or so because if you don't, they're sitting in there with their poop and their pee and they're going to stink. But a bunny itself, like, you know, you have a dog that kind of has that dog smell. Bunnies don't stink. They're actually super clean animals. And so yeah, if you have the time and you have the ability to give your bunny love and attention and be home with it, like I am, totally suggest having an indoor bunny. Um, she's not completely like free roam. I do put her in her cage at bedtime just because I've left her out before um, at night and she's eaten cords and I don't want her electrocuted or she's chewed up my entire couch. So <laughs> there's something she has this fetish about couches. Um, it's like they're nesting. I don't know what it is, but anyways, she is totally worth it. She's so cute. So sweet. If you have any other questions about being a bunny owner, let me know. But that's how Bon Bon, that's how she rolls. Bye. Well, what do you know? I open up the fridge and look who comes running. <laughs> bon Bon, what are you looking for? You gotta see this little game me and Bun Bun play. She literally plays chase like a dog. Come here, Bun Bun! Good girl! Good girl! Come here! I'm going. can't even make this up. She literally thinks that this mat is like her new bed or something. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I can't even take it. Trying to tear my cheeks. But this is how I roll.